Developing tonight, Senator Rand Paul is blocking President Obama's nominee to be Surgeon General, saying Dr. Vivek Murthy is out to get Americans' guns. Earlier today, I spoke with Senator Paul on Capitol Hill. Senator, thank you so much for your time today. Glad to be with you. Uh, I want to start by talking about your objection to the president's nominee for Surgeon General. You've placed a hold, which is not exceptionally rare, but it doesn't happen a lot. What does it mean and what are your objections? You know, my concern is that the position is an important one for education, for health, but I don't think it should be a bully pu pulpit to beat up on the Bill of Rights. You know, I mean, do we want a guy who's going to be calling for an assault ban weapon, for limiting your purchase of ammunition? Do we really want that to be part of what the Surgeon in general's doing. Um, so I think it's, I, I'm worried about having someone who's so partisan and so political in the Surgeon General position. And from what I understand, he has advocated for doctors and nurses being able to talk to patients, including minors, about whether they have guns in the home, legal guns in the home. But he right. thinks that uh, gun violence is a public health epidemic and that doctors should be on the front lines of determining who have who has guns yeah, in the I home. find it very objectionable to be talking to my son or daughter who's under 18 without my permission and without me present. So uh, I find it just uh, the idea of the nanny state, a big government coming into the doctor child, you know, I, I think that's really inappropriate. But it's also just inappropriate. Think of what Surgeon Generals have done through the history. Being against smoking, being against obesity, things that are, are bad for your health, that's a reasonable public health concern. But to be someone who's beating up on the Bill of Rights, I mean, that's not what we need. I mean, he truly is a basher of the Bill of Rights. He's going on nonstop on his Twitter account saying we shouldn't be allowed to own certain types of guns. We shouldn't be allowed to buy certain types of ammunition. This is not the kind of advocacy we want from the Surgeon General. He's also uh, very closely aligned with advocacy groups who pushed for Obamacare and continue to support it. Um, should that disqualify him, though? I mean, certainly the president's going to pick somebody, a nominee, right. who lines up with his own ideology and philosophy, but he has been very supportive. Do you have concerns right. that would affect his ability to impartially do the job? Yeah, because I think this really is not a political position. The president has the prerogative of doing it. He has to get the vote of the Senate for approval, and we'll see how that goes. But I don't think that this is a position that should be politicized. This is a uh, this should be someone who you really don't care whether they're Republican or Democrat because they're for public health. But you know, the Second Amendment is part of the Bill of Rights, and if you want, if your goal in life is to trash the Second Amendment, you should be a partisan. You can be on Twitter, you can be on MSNBC, but you don't need to be the Surgeon General. We'll even have him on Fox. <laughs> we like to be fair and balanced here, all the viewpoints. Okay, so you said this shouldn't be a political issue. Senate Majority Leader Harry. Reid has said your hold on this particular nominee is Republicans playing politics with the White House with this position. Yeah. Sounds like he's planning to move forward despite your hold. Yeah, I would not. You wouldn't hear a peep from me if this guy weren't already a partisan. I've supported many of the president's nominees. I sit down and break bread with Eric Holder. OK, so I'm not someone who is always just beating up on Democrats because they're Democrats. This is a partisan person being nominated for a nonpartisan position. This is somebody who I think a lot of objective people, the former Surgeon General Carmona, mm -hmm. who's a Democrat, has come out and said this, this man's not qualified to be the Surgeon General. So there are people on both sides who are concerned about him politicizing the position. All right, speaking of nominees, 2016, mm -hmm. your name is out there quite a bit. Is that a plus or a minus this yeah. early on? Because it also makes you a target for criticism and uh, people who uh, want to work against a potential nomination, are you going to run? Uh, it sounds like bad luck to be a leader two, two years in advance, only if the election were next week. Now, I haven't really decided yet. I am interested in making the Republican Party bigger and making our message more open and inclusive to more people, because I think a shrinking party that's always dividing itself and splitting hairs over every issue is not how you get a party big enough to win with. So I've been traveling to a lot of places Republicans haven't been recently. I've been talking a lot about how individual Bill of Rights type of issues really can reach out to people who've been disaffected, who've been uh, maybe traumatized by criminal injustice. There are a lot of African Americans in jail, I think unfairly because of the war on drugs, a lot of Hispanics. I think this is a message that may resonate that no Republican has ever really tried before. Well, we'll keep an eye on it. If you have anything to tell us, anything to announce, we're here. Uh, we're all ears. Absolutely. Thank you, Senator. Thanks. Good to see you.